So the next algorithm is to orient the corners. And this is probably one of the more difficult algorithms, not because it's a complicated algorithm. It's actually a very simple algorithm. It's one of the simpler algorithms that you can learn. The problem with it is, is that there are about five or six possible orientations for the way the corners might look. I might, for example, in this one, I have the two yellow corners facing up here, and then the other two are on the sides like this. So here are my four corners, two here and two here. I might also have two facing out here, and these two might be facing out, or I might have two facing out here and the two facing out on the other side here. Um, there's a number of different um, possibilities. So it's really important that you, you recognize how the uh, algorithm works, like what it's actually doing, how it's rotating the pieces, because otherwise you may have to do this algorithm three, four, five. I mean, I've seen some people um, who are trying to learn the beginner's method that will sit there and, and take seven or eight tries before they finally get it. But if you really think about it, you should never, ever have to do this algorithm more than two times. Um, the way the algorithm basically works is it leaves one corner untouched and it rotates three corners. So if you have an algorithm that will rotate three corners and it will leave one of the corners untouched, then in order for that algorithm to work, you'd have to have one corner up and the other three corners would have to be facing out, not facing up. So right now I have two up and two down. What I need is one facing up and the other three facing down. And when I do the algorithm, it will leave the one corner correct, whichever corner I want to leave correct, and it will rotate the other three. Now you can do a right-handed version of it and you can also do a left-handed version of it, depending on which way that you want to do this. So for this particular one, what I would want to do is I would want to orient it like this. So what is going to ultimately happen to this is this corner will be left alone. This corner will be left alone. So it's gonna stay exactly in the orientation with the blue will stay up. And each of these three corners, I'm gonna do it on the right side. I'm gonna do the right side version of the algorithm. Each of these three corners is going to rotate. So when I rotate this guy, he's gonna rotate like this. If you can imagine looking into the corner, he'll rotate clockwise. When you do a left-handed version, it rotates counterclockwise. So when I do the right-handed version, he rotates in the clockwise direction. So that means that this yellow will come down to here, this orange will move over to here, and this green will come up to here. That's gonna happen for each of the three corners that are going to rotate. So this is going to take the yellow away. Over here on this corner, it's gonna rotate in the clockwise direction, so the yellow will go away. And when I do it on this way, and I rotate in the clockwise direction, this yellow will come up. So the yellow, blue, and orange, this is the corner that's going to come up. And I'm gonna show you that to you when, we, when I finish the algorithm. This one will rotate up, this guy will rotate away, this guy will rotate away, and this guy will be left alone. Now the algorithm itself is actually very, very simple. It's the, this corner is the one that I'm going to play with, and what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna bring that corner up, and I'm gonna push him over here to this side, so that when I put this back down, he doesn't get, he doesn't get um, changed. He's still together, those two pieces are still together. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go one more time in that direction. Everything else is returned back to the where it was. I'm gonna go one more time in that direction. Now I'm just gonna bring this empty spot back up. I'm gonna bring this guy all the way around. And technically, in order to complete the algorithm, to get back to the exactly where we were, you would give the whole top one last turn all the way around. So just to remind you, this one was blue, he's left alone. This piece was yellow, he got turned down. This piece was yellow, he got turned down. He's over here on this side. And this piece, the yellow, blue, and orange piece, this is the one, he, the yellow was here, he got rotated up. So now I have one corner up and I have three down. So now I'm ready to do the algorithm one last time. This time, however, I'm gonna do the algorithm so that the um, piece that is correct is gonna be on my right side. So I'm gonna do the left-hand version of the algorithm. What determines which way that you go is when you look at the corner that's correct, so I have this corner correct, when you look at the corners either on either side, one of them is going to have the color that you're working with. So in this case, yellow is the color that I'm working with. So the yellow one is on my left side. So that means that I'm gonna do the algorithm on the left side, and I'm gonna put my good piece over here on the right. If by contrast, and I'll show an example of that in just a moment, if by contrast, the piece that was facing out was yellow on this side, I would put the good piece over here, and I would do the right hand version of this. So this is basically the way that the algorithm goes. So on this side where the yellow is facing out, I'm going to move it up, I'm gonna move this corner up, and I'm gonna move him in the direction towards the good piece. I'm gonna move him over here towards the good piece. So I move him like that, and I just put this piece back down. Okay, so three moves. I bring it up, I turn it, 
towards the good piece. Here's my good my good corner. Turn it towards the good corner, drop it back down. All I'm going to do is make one more turn in that direction. I'm going to push him one more time this way. And now I'm just going to bring that, that uh, empty slot back up. And I'm going to bring this guy all the way around. Now he's lined up back again. And when I put him down, all of the corners will have rotated into place. So I'm going to show that algorithm one more time. So here is the same algorithm that I just did. I have the good corner, and the one on my left is the one that's facing out, not the one on the right. So what I'm going to do is turn the corner up, bring that corner up, push him towards the good one, towards the good corner, drop it back down, give him one more push, and so I pushed him all the way over to the back side over there. So now I can still turn this, it doesn't mess him up, he's over here. So when I turn this, it doesn't mess him up. I'm gonna bring him all the way around, and when I put him back down, all four corners will be rotated correctly. Doing it on the right-hand side, it looks something like this. So here's the right-handed version of it. So here's my good corner. I have three corners facing down and one corner facing up. This is the final step to finish this algorithm, to finish this uh, these particular pieces. I have to get to a situation where I have one up and three down, so I'm ready to go. But in this case, the yellow piece is on the right side now instead of on the left side. So I'm going to face that piece towards me, and now my good corner is over here on my left. So when I bring this corner up, I bring the right corner this time, I push him towards the good corner, drop that guy back down. I'm going to push him one more time so he goes all the way to the back. He's back over here. So now I can turn this layer back up. And you can go either direction. You can either go this way, or what I usually do is just continue going all the way around this way, put him back into place, and send him back down. And now all of the corners are oriented correctly, and all of the edges are oriented correctly. So the last step will be two things. I'm going to put the corners in their right positions, because they're not in the correct position. So, for example, these two are in the correct position. The two blue are next to each other. But when I flip it around to look at the green side, these two corners are not in the right position. So that's called a permutation. They're oriented correctly, but they need to be permuted, meaning that I need these two to flip sides. So in the next video, we'll look at the algorithm for flipping the corners. And in the final uh, video, we'll move the edges into place and we'll be done with the cube.